thing I love more than celebrating Halloween every day is celebrating Wayside every day. Yay! Yay! Now that's what I call school spirit. I know. Steven should lead us in the school spirit parade float contest. He has my vote. We'll be a shoe in to win with his spirit. Ooh, school spirit. Ooh. I loved being the float leader last year. It was so great, I never wanted it to end. Byron, 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 Byron. Byron. Myron! Huh? There was no parade last year? Oh, so that's why I didn't win. <laughs> so, school district supervisor, you got the gift basket I sent, the flowers, the chocolates, the cash. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not trying to buy your vote for the contest. I'm actually trying to buy his vote for the contest. It's just a friendly welcome gift I send to all the new judges. Bye-bye. Ha! I'll play him like a two-bit accordion. A one, two, three, boo! Oh, a one, two. Yes, Mr. K? They're back. Who's back, Mr. K? A one, two, three, boo! A one, two, three, boo! The leprechauns! <laughs> oh, a pot of gold. I can quit my job as principal and never work again. Ow! My nose. Oh, my pants. Ow! My nose. My pants. My nose. My pants. My nose. My pants. My nose. Leprechauns. Oh, that's just Steven in his Halloween costume, which he wears every day. Go, Wayside! He's not a leprechaun? No, he's supposed to be an elf. The kids chose him to lead this year's parade float. What? They can't do that! My new supervisor's judging the contest, and I need to make a good impression! Understand? Must make good impression! Oh, dude. I think we could use more ghosts, and rubber spiders, and more ooky, spooky, scary things. Right, Mr. Pumpkin? Steven? You put the way in Wayside. Delivery for the leprechaun. You mean the elf? Yes! <laughs> I mean the elf. Ooh, that's me. Maybe someone sent me a happy Halloween card. Is everything okay? No. Dear little green thing, you're not actually going to lead the parade dressed like that. Do you want everyone to laugh at you and embarrass your principal? Sign, the whatchamacallits. Is that supposed to mean the students? <gasps> the students sign this? All of them? But what's wrong with how I look? <laughs> Nothing as far as I can tell. Sounds like some dumb prank. And I have a pretty good idea who's behind it. Ignore it, Steven. But what if it isn't some dumb prank? I mean, I'll be representing the whole school now. That's right. You're so lucky. We're all going to be watching your every move. Isn't it great? We're gonna win the contest! We're gonna win the contest! What if these whatchamacallits are right? This is too important to mess up. I can't embarrass Wayside. I'll become someone they can all be proud of. Someone no one laughs at. Someone called... Mr. Normal. Goodbye, ooky, spooky, scary stuff. 
So long, rubber spiders. Goodbye, giggling ghosts. Catch you later, creepy hand. <laughs> From now on, I'm only celebrating Halloween on Halloween, just like normal kids. You can't get more normal than this. Right, Mr. Pumpkin? You're the man in every man, Mr. Normal. Oh, Steven, you look different. You have accident. No, just swimming in the mainstream now, beating my way down the beaten path to the middle of the road. Aha! Here, I make special creepy crawly cookie for you. It come with live spider. Sorry, none for me. If it's not a very square slice of white bread, I want no part of it. Right, Mr. Pumpkin? Uh, you sure about this man? Hmm, that's a little bit much, no? <gasps> Steven, is that you? Yes, and I think this float needs to be just a little more ordinary. Think so-so. What happened to you? Where are your ears? And your clothes. And your Stevenness. All here, just in a plain white wrapper. You see, I've learned that vanilla is truly the spice of life. Chocolate is too. And strawberry. Ooh, and pistachio. You're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. People laugh at jokes. I'm no joke. I'm normal. And happy too. No one's laughing at me. Right, Mr. Pumpkin? Well, he hasn't been himself lately. You know, normal doesn't really work for Steven. Or for the contest. He looks miserable. I wish we could help him. Maybe we can. Did you see how we spoke to his pumpkin? Yeah. I bet there's a little bit of Steven left in Mr. Normal. We just have to bring it out. And I have the perfect idea. You want me to do what? It's the only way we can save Steven. And our float, too. Oh, this isn't about that leprechaun fellow. You know I have a problem with them. Oh, a second pot of gold. What luck to find it out here in the desert. Ow! My nose. Oh, my fan. My nose. My fan. My nose. My fan. My nose. My fan. My nose. Ah. Steven's not a leprechaun. He's an elf. And he was proud of it. Until someone made him feel bad about how he looks. Oh, that note wasn't from me. It was from the whatchamacallits. Who said anything about a note? Is there something you're not telling us, Mr. Kidswater? <laughs> what a perfectly average day for a run-of-the-mill school spirit contest. <laughs> What are you doing? Your ears! People will laugh at you! At me! At us! No, they won't. Mr. Kidgewater, you have spooky ooky ears too? Keep them on, or I tell the new supervisor you sent Steven that note. <clears throat> yes, Steven. Don't worry about people laughing. No one represents Wayside better than you. Really. Be true to your elf, Steven. <laughs> Enough with the Mr. Normal! I bet Mr. Pumpkin thinks it's a good idea. Go knock him dead, scary Steve. Okay, I will! That means the new school supervisor likes me. I, I mean us. He's the float judge. I just wish I knew what he looked like. Yay! A third pot of gold? How could this be? Oh, hello, Mr. Kidswater. Nice to finally meet you. You won't stop me this time. I'm taking what's mine, you tricky little leprechaun. I 
I'm no leprechaun. I'm the school district supervisor. Your boss. Uh-huh. And this is the prize money for the float. It's not for you. It goes to the people with the real school spirit. The students of Wayside. Ow! My nose. Oh, my pants! Hey, <laughs> is that a two-bit accordion? I love playing those. Good news, Mr. K. I fixed this door so you'll never walk into it again. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. When have I ever walked into a door? Oh. Gotta go, gotta go! Ah. Ah. <laughs> I have two eyes. Oh, that. No worries, I've propped it open. That's using the old Melon Lewis. Ow! Stupid Guzak frame thing! <laughs> Dude! Maybe the door frame's not wide enough. Want me to fix that too? No, Lewis. I've got a better idea. <laughs> hey! What's all the yelling about? Kidswater just announced he's moving the school permanently! No way! Where's it going? No one knows! And that's why we're all gonna protest. Mr. K can't do that to the students of this school. He's my hero, Mr. Kidswater, <sighs> and I know that I am perfect. That's, that's why, why I'm resigning as class president, president in protest, protest of this move. move. Um, Myron, you were never actually elected class president. <laughs> hmm. As I'm saying, saying, and I, I know that I am perfect, perfect as your class, class president. I'm protesting by wearing only one ear. Care to join me? <laughs> one ear, one ear, one ear. I'm protesting by unalphabetizing my rule books. Ouch. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> <gasps> Protesting by blocking all bike traffic in the halls. Take that, school! Jenny, you're the only one who actually rides in the hallways. <laughs> hmm. Well, you and that kid. Heck, no, we won't go! Heck, no, we won't go! Everybody now! Heck, no, we won't go! Heck, no, we won't go! Heck, no, we won't go! Heck, stop! Enough already! Now, I don't want the school moved either, but if we really want to protest, we have to work together. Yeah! Everyone, Everyone protest! Let's try something simpler, like a boycott. When people are upset about something, they protest by staying away from it. Then we should... <gasps> boycott class? Yeah! Let's boycott class! Yeah! Okay, okay everyone, everyone, let's, let's meet, meet in class for the boycott, boycott of class! Yeah! Wait! You can't go to class if you're boycotting class. <sighs> hmm, let's see here. Move, move, moving. What do you want? <laughs> yes, 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 I know you tipped me off about the students protesting. So what? One banana's not enough? <laughs> Fine. Take it. <laughs> I need to get a closer look at this protesting riffraff. <gasps> and I've got just the thing. <laughs> <laughs> to protest the school moving, we should not only boycott class, but refuse to do any more homework, too. Yay! I like that. Now you don't have to write a 500-word essay tonight. I have an even better idea. Instead of that 500-word essay, why don't we write a 5,000-word letter? Protesting why we're not writing our essay. Yay! Hello. I hate to bring this up, 
but I think there might be a little problem with these protests. Moo Moo, cow coming through. To protest the school move, you tried boycotting class, but then you went to class. Then you tried refusing an assignment, but you ended up doing more schoolwork than ever. Yes! Fight the power! No! Fight the protests! These actions are about as effective as eating during a hunger strike! That sounds like a great idea! Thanks, Todd! Two and yeah! Come on, come on! Hi, Mr. Kitswater! Hey, Mr. Hey, I'm just a cow. I'm not spying on you. What am I going to do about them? Spending more time in class, doing more homework, eating more cafeteria food. It's almost like they're becoming better whatchamacallits. Students? Yes, them! <sighs> uh, it's worse than I ever imagined. If smart little people don't need a principal, then they don't need me. Hmm. I need to infiltrate these extremists, change their crazy ideas about studying and learning, get back to our core values, the values of moving the school. Yo! Stupid Guzak. Um, can someone give me a push? More, please. You want second helping? Uh-huh. <laughs> that never happened before. <laughs> People, in a hunger strike, you protest by not eating. But what do we do if we get hungry during the hunger strike? Dandy of a question, my good man. Mr. Kidswater? Who? Sorry, never heard of that wonderful man. I'm just a typical, um, whatchamacallit, like you. A student? Yes, one of them chappy. So, who needs some awfully swell acts of civil disobedience to make your principal do the right thing? Civil disobedience? what We just want to keep the school here. And Todd's given us all these great ideas about boycotts and strikes. Ha! That's nothing. In my day, which um, is the same as your day, we didn't bother with boycotts. We just took over. Yes, I like the sound of that. Yeah, Todd. Why didn't you think of that? Because it could go even more horribly wrong than all of this? Ha! Don't listen to him. He's one of them. Them? No! Say it ain't so! Who's them? The ones that don't want us to do the right thing. <gasps> no wonder he made us stay in class and do all that extra homework. Uh, but no, I... Come on, everyone, follow me instead. We'll take this place over right. Yeah! Hmm. Time to take this protest into my own hands. Don't move the school! Don't move the school! Don't move the school! <laughs> oh, dude, you just missed it. Mr. K was wearing this funny outfit, and he had the students storm his own office and take it over. No way. What next? Hey, hey, what do you say? Move the school right away! Oh, no. He's completely turned everyone around. Dana, what happened? We took over the school. Yeah, Todd, and we have to run this place now, so we're kind of like principals. And principals always do the right thing for their school. Move the school! How did this happen? Do you guys realize that your protest has failed in every possible way? <laughs> oh, don't listen to this misguided hooligan. He's trying to muddle and confuse you. Fine. If you can't get this protest straight, then it's up to me. Don't move the school! Don't move the school! But Todd, we're just doing what you said. One simple, coordinated protest. Yeah, we have to work together. Your words, not mine. Don't move the school. Don't move the school. Don't move the school. 
<sighs> Say, which one of you school-running little people wants to help me pack for the big move? Don't move the school! Don't move the school! Don't move the school! Don't move the school! Don't move. I guess they decided not to move the school. Ouch! Whoa! You okay? Yeah, I think so. Be careful, Dodster. The school has been moved two feet to the left, so you'll need to adjust your route. Huh? I thought they were gonna move it across town. It was all Kid Swatter's idea, so he wouldn't walk into the front door frame. I mean, the front Guzak frame. I have two ice creams. <gasps> Whoa! Ah! Stupid inside office, Guzak! <laughs> of course, the move didn't affect the inside doors. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least everything's back to normal again. <laughs> sort of. <laughs>